you go. It's a good view there of the landscape. We're actually getting ready to prospect in the view. Really nice. Lights on, cool day. It's about 56 degrees. And here's going to be home for the next month. Not sure you can even see it, but. Safety pan and again with two pans, like we always do. Okay, this is the total for day one. Um, it's not as big as we thought it was. Uh, it seemed to be better when we tested it. So I don't know whether we'll continue this hole tomorrow or do a new one. But, you know, it's, it's pretty fair color. So uh, we'll try again tomorrow. Good morning everyone, day before giving thanks in all things uh, for us here, CNS Mining, some friends down in the wash here, just uh, going to give thanks for all the gold we're going to find it today. Down here in the desert again, CNS Mining. Down in a wash over around the Wickenburg Morristown claims. We're just having some fun, hoping to find some gold, and giving thanks for all things in our lives. Alright, guys, this is the uh, gold crew in action. That's Tom and Julie on the upper end there. That's myself, second. And as we pan down, that's Bernie. He's got a really good spot going there. And Diana's down on the other end, uh, running through their little dry washer. We're making lots of dirt, lots of dust in the air. You notice most of us have masks on just to... 
not for the COVID, but for the incredible amount of dirt and dust that uh, we put out in the air. Not sure what's going on right here. Uh, I think the photographer didn't get the camera shut off, but that's Julie and that's me. And that first clip uh, shot was of Bernie. But uh, obviously the camera isn't focused on, on who's doing what or or what's going on. So sorry about that. This is definitely <laughs> not what we meant to do. Another day in the desert and a little bit more gold. It's got a little bit bigger. Uh, about the same in quantity, but just I think it's a little bigger in size. Okay, here's some more dry washing in our beautiful Arizona desert. Girls running the dry washer. There's six of us down here now. That's Tom and Julie's rig over there. Girl over here. And Scoot is over here. And that's their setup. Yeah, sometimes in a desert you don't catch any black sand at all. And where we're working now, this is uh, just the one pan. This is a second pan full. Uh, and we have pretty nice color in it, and I'll show you later on, but this is the black sand. It's just amazing amount of black sand. And it's pretty coarse, so it hasn't been pushed far. This not face powder small. So it's just really, really nice black sand. There's Tom and Julie. They've been running for a little while yet. They've got a couple little, little pieces over here. They have looks like a really good spot. This is an old creek, like I said before, that we worked maybe 20 years ago, and I think it's renewed a little bit. And there's Cheryl, she's feeding our little beast. Doing a little vacuum in there too, so uh, it's going to be good. Alright, another day and <clears throat> another little bit of gold. Got a little bit bigger this time, we got to a different spot that's really proven to be promising lots of bedrock not saying where it's at but it's really nice stuff in here coarse gold bigger gold see what the day brings there's Cheryl she's just vacuumed and she's pouring her material into the dry washer and she vacuumed off the bottom of the hole works well finds good gold this is uh, one of our cleanups. This is the black sand. Quite a bit of black sand. Let me shut this camera off here and then I'll show you some of the gold. Alright guys, this is it. This is uh, our two day cleanup. Came out really, really good. Uh, we're really happy with this. There's some nice big chunky pieces in here. It's just really good color uh, for this couple days. And we're totally happy with it. Well, there's Tom and Julie, they're vacuuming in the bottom of their hole. That seems to be a way to find the gold here. Alright guys, I believe this is uh, Tom and Julie's cleanup in this clip. It's uh, really nice coarse gold. They were pretty close to where we were, so they're getting real similar gold. So we're thinking that this gold travels the full length of this creek, which we will keep testing and find out for sure, and we'll let you know.